Hello, I'm Xavier. And I'm Loic. And together, we are going to give you an introduction on how electricity gets distributed in a data center. Data centers use thousands upon thousands of servers to store the data found on the internet. Therefore, data centers are a real glutton for electricity as it is needed to run the servers, as well as their temperature control, and security systems. The power consumed by data centers ranges from a few megawatts to a few hundred megawatts. This power is sent to the data center plant via high voltage lines between 30,000 and 150,000 volts. Then, large transformers lower this voltage to 400 or 230 volts. The low voltage electrical installation must be designed to fulfill the electrical functions of isolation, protection against overloads and short circuits, as well as the protection of persons. To ensure the plants and its workers safety the electrical installation needs to be properly grounded. A data center needs a guarantee of available electrical energy as close to 100% as possible. In the event of a network failure, the power supply is immediately backed up by an electrical reserve battery called UPS, leaving enough time for huge on-site generators to take over. In addition to this, the entire electrical installation is completely redundant. This doubling of all electrical equipment, UPS and generator sets, make a power outage that would make the stored computer data unavailable near impossible. A large number of switching power supplies and other receivers cause malfunctions, such as parasites and harmonics that distort the network voltage of the data center. The quality of energy through the network is essential for the proper functioning of receivers and electrical equipment. This is where the harmonic filters and surge protectors come in place. This capsule was created as part of the Helha Data Center training program. You can find our website and social media on the links in the description below.